wherewith one may edify another. Amen? Following that which is of God, not fabricated by men, and only, only one, and one may edify another. It, delegate, it really gates to that which is produced by the Holy Spirit and not by the man. Amen? We must live a life that is honest, blameless, Amen. and respectable. Amen? Amen? We must ensure, we must ensure that we excel the possession and demonstration of love to God and humanity as well. For this is acceptable in the sight of God because the nature of Christ is love. Amen. Amen. God is love. We cannot live in unity without Him. Amen. Amen. Showing love to one another. For we cannot say we love God without loving our fellow brethren. Amen. Amen. Jesus came to this world to minister. Not to be ministered unto. As those living in unity with Him. We must be ready to render and give assistance to our fellow believer and non-believers amen? amen either in kind of words because we are saved to serve amen. the love of Christ in us motivates us to always be eager to be to be of help of other person because we have received blessings amen, amen. so we must let our lives be channeled and instrument of blessings amen. to others too. Amen. amen. In Galatians 6.10, therefore, it says there, we have opportunity, let us do good amen. to all people, especially to those who belong to the family of God. The Holy Spirit will help us do this, providing or giving our faith in Jesus. Otherwise, we will fail. Amen. For there are many who are in faith, but actually, they do not really understand the faith in Christ. So, they walk in defeat. Amen. We are to give them the message of the cross in order that they might walk in perpetual and everlasting victory. The unity with Christ makes us compassionate for the, for the lost and helpless in our generation. This is because God's compassion dwells in us. Amen? Amen? And we have already received, you have already received that compassion, my friend. Amen? We become concerned for the sinners and desires for their healing. Amen? Amen. And salvation too. Amen? In John 15 verse 5, Jesus said, I am the vine, you are the branches. If a man remains in me, and I in him, he will bear much fruit apart from me. You can do nothing. <laughs> Amen. Means a branch like us can only remain alive and functional when it is attached, yes. attached or fixed to the main vine. Amen. Amen. Therefore, we must remain or abide and live in Christ. Amen. In Acts 17 verse 28, in Him we live and move, and, move and, have. and have our being. Amen. Yes. It proclaims that Jesus, Jesus is the source of life. Amen. We must also give ourselves totally to the reading, study, and meditating of the word. Yes. Amen of God. Also, Amen. maintain the active prayer. Yes. Active prayer because prayer is the powerhouse yes, where we draw strength to ward off every attack of the enemy. Amen. Remember, the prayer of the righteous man is powerful and effective. Amen. James 5 verse 16. And moreover, Prayer can also move mountains. Amen. Mark 11 verse 22 to 24. We must possess and hold an active faith encourages us in our standing with God. This unity with Christ is further sustained and maintained by constant fellowship, 
with fellow brethren. Amen. In Hebrews 10 verse 25, let us not give up meeting together. Amen. As some were in habit of doing, let us encourage one another. And all the more, as you see the day approaching, it says there, it is, it is important that believers assemble together, encouraging one another in faith, Amen. most especially Amen. these last days. Amen. Amen. These last days. In John 15 verse 14, Jesus said, You are my friends. You are my friends. If you do what I commanded you, amen. The word if, it indicates that there is a condition here, amen. If you want to maintain your friendship and relationship with him, do what he commanded, amen. amen. Above all, we constantly lean and incline. Nakasandal tayo lagi sa kanya, amen. amen. On, the, on our Lord, for our daily grace and his strength. There is something that barricades off and blockade in the in our unification with Jesus that he could not truly write. Amen. This is the sin. Sin, no matter how big, no matter how small, no matter medium, black or white, red or blue, or a colorful sin. I don't know if there's a technical or sin. It will break this unity with Christ. Amen. Believers should not allow anything in their lives. Amen. For sin Amen. shall have no dominion or supremacy over you. In Romans 6 verse 11, in the same way, yourself did dead to sin, but alive to, to God in Christ Jesus. While sin nature is not dead, we are dead into sin nature by the trustworthiness of the cross. And our faith in that sacrifice of Christ. And as long as our faith continues in Him and rests upon us, we the believers must live above sin. Amen. Must live above sin. No matter circumstances and disguises, we must hostile and hate anything evil at all times. To mention a few of these sins are immorality unfaithfulness insincerity especially in marriages amen greediness and worldliness these are destructive and dangerous to this unification with our Lord Jesus Christ this will cause serious damage amen and harm to the relationship to the Lord with the Lord if by error error or failure that there's a crack. May lamat yung relasyon natin sa Diyos. Because of sin, let us not dismay or madismaya or lose, lose hope because in 1 John 2 verse 1 says there, My dear children, I write this to you so that you will not sin. We have one who speaks to the Father in our defense. Amen? Jesus Christ, the righteous one, means Jesus is now seated at the right hand of our, of our God, the Father, signifying that his mission on this earth is completed and his presence guarantees an assured intercession, our intercession. Jesus Amen. also served as our defense lawyer. Amen. We have defense lawyer in, in heaven. He is Jesus. Free of charge. Wala kang babayaran. But we have to confess. And repent our error immediately. Amen. Once you know. Once you know. That you have committed the error. The error. Ask for forgiveness at that moment. So that you can have the full benefit of this disunity. Amen. A minute. An hour, a day, a week or a month of separation from Christ could have disastrous, devastating consequences. Amen? Amen. If you are away for only one day, or even a week, or even an hour, you could have disastrous and devastating consequences. Wag mo lang pabuti na isang taon niyang brad. Sobrang na yan. 
living in unity in Jesus Christ entitles us to privilege, privileges of sonship. This means we are the partakers of all the blessings and riches in Christ. Amen. Amen. Jesus Christ is very rich in everything. Financially, materially, spiritually. He is even rich in life. Amen. Amen. He can add your life. He can subtract your life. Amen. Amen. In heaven and on this earth. Amen. You name it, you have it. Period. Amen. Our lives are enriched and fortified and transport and transformed daily to, to his glory and honor. We have a life of peace, a life of joy, a life of prosperity of his spirit and prosperity of our soul, amen, and body and the blessings of our generation. We are also able to spread out and distribute the grace, amen, mercy and goodness of God to others, amen. Yes. The blessings and privileges underlying in this unification are so precious, valued and adored. Do not let a single moment of sin or foolishness to interfere with our unification with the Lord. Just as the branch, just as the branch in John 15 verse 5, cannot abide alone without the vine. Amen. Also, so also the believer can do nothing without Christ. Amen. Amen. To God be the glory. Amen. Father in heaven, in the name of Jesus, thank you, Lord, for your message for today, Lord. We acknowledge, Lord, that apart from you, we cannot do anything, Lord. Amen. Let your, let your uh, presence be with us always, Lord. Let your glory remain in us always, Lord. Let your Holy Spirit dwell in us forevermore, Lord. Yes. And heal those sicknesses and diseases. Amen. We thank you, Father, for healing those who received blessings from you and healing from you last, last Tuesday when we pray for them, Lord. Thank you for listening for our, to our prayers, Lord. Amen. Thank you for granting our petition. Yes, Jesus. We thank you, Lord. Give you praise. We praise your name, Lord. Yes, we thank you for everything you have done, Lord, Amen. to our lives and all the lives of our brethren, Lord. We thank you, Father, for all the blessings that you have bestowed upon us and all the people who seek your help materially, spiritually, and financially. We thank you, Father, and bless all those nurses, all those doctors, all those who attend to the sick people, Lord. Bless them too, Lord. Keep us away from any harm, all of us, Lord. Keep us away from any danger. In the name of your son, Jesus Christ. Yes, Father God. You gave your son, Jesus, to us. For our forgiveness of our sin. For our iniquities. For our poverty. For our sicknesses and diseases. We thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. To recap... The message that we have heard today is that we all need Jesus, amen, and stay connected with Him, amen. If you want to receive Jesus as your Lord and Savior, praise the Lord. Uh, let me encourage you to follow me uh, as I pray, hallelujah. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, by the power of the Holy Spirit, Jesus, I'm asking you to forgive me. For all my sins and wash me by your most and precious blood i believe in you jesus that you are the eternal god i believe in you jesus that you that our heavenly father have sent you to die for me and rose again on the third day and now sitting at the right at the right throne of god i receive you jesus in my life come and reign in my heart in my life thank you jesus for this new life thank you for the eternal life thank you lord for sealing me with your holy spirit 
In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. If you have just prayed that prayer, we are encouraging you to find a local church, a full gospel church. You are also welcome here at All for Jesus Church. And if you need a Holy Bible, you don't need to be a member of All for Jesus Church. We are giving free Bible with a free booklet uh, with it. So give us a... Give, send us an email, amen? Go to allforjesuschurch.com, allforjesuschurch.com for more details, amen? I'm encouraging the praise and worship team to sing our victory song, amen? Truly that we are victorious. Why? Because the victor, Jesus Christ, lives in us, amen? Victory is mine. Praise God. face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face toward you and give you peace. In Jesus name. Amen. 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 Thank you brothers and sisters. God bless.